That brings us to the text block. As you recall, by the way, just to review at this point, we have one piece of original headband. These were commercial headbands, uh, not true headbands, uh, sewn uh, and created on uh, the top and bottom of the book. These are commercial headbands simply made of a piece of printed uh, cloth folded over a piece of, uh, in this case, I have no idea, maybe sl split bamboo, uh, more likely than not um, just a little piece of board or folded paper. At any, and in this case, it's actually stitched across uh, to form a headband to go like so on the top and bottom of the book. In this case, everything's fallen off except this remnant. It is insubstantial to say the least. There's not much to it. It could be cleaned. Uh, if you were a purist, of course, you would clean it and try to reproduce another copy of it for the bottom. In this case, since, again, uh, we're being practical, it's not worth our time, and it's so insubstantial, it may not last that long. So, I'm going to reproduce this. It's uh, blue and white, as you see. I'm going to reproduce it with homemade uh, headbands, which I'll uh, show you and explain later. And those will go on the finished and rebacked or in the process of rebacking the uh, text block after it's re-sewn, etc. We'll do that later. Also, again, uh, the spine still has to be cleaned. All of the uh, paper and original, I'll do just a bit of it right now and uh, do the rest off camera. It's simply is a matter of carefully and very slowly and patiently paring away the original adhesive and paper residue from the back of the spine like so. When you get to the false bands it's um, it's up to you. Uh, is enough going to be extant to save it or should you just replace it? That's going to be a, uh, an individual call, given the specifics of whatever you're working on. Like so. So you just continue the length and breadth of whatever of the spine is extant, and you do your best. Clean off as much as you can. The stuff that doesn't come off easily is probably pretty good because if it doesn't come off easily, it's probably going to stay adhered for a good long time. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. And again, this is practical book restoration. You are not working for the Louvre or National Archives. You are doing this for money and you are sensitive to how much the client has to spend. At your hourly rate, if you were to spend an extra hour on this, could you really justify it with a straight face for all the good it actually does? In this case, cleaning it to that point, there is still residue there. There is still actually a little paper residue there. Uh, so what? If it doesn't come off, you can probably trust it to last a good long time as it is newly adhered to your new spine. So, just work up and down, get it as clean as reasonable, and call it good. That's practical book restoration.